Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to light a night scene with Eevee. I'm using Blender 4.3. I will share the project file free for everyone so you can follow the tutorial. You can find the link in video description. Let's start. Open the scene. I'm gonna change to rendered. Use Eevee. And don't forget to activate the shadows. Also make sure ray tracing is turned on so we can have reflections, refraction and indirect lighting. In world I'm using an HDRI. Just select environment texture. The name of the image I'm using is Empty Warehouse from polyheaven.com. Uh, what I want are some reflections on the windows, that's why I'm using an HDRI. But we can lower the strength, maybe to 0.16. Okay, so now let's add the lights. I'm using Aerial Lights with Shift A, Light, Add Area. You can adjust the power, the size, and choose the color. We can scale it up by pressing S, then X. Now press S, then Y. I'm just trying to match the shape of the lamp. We can also use a spotlight. Just increase the power. Maybe we can increase the size. And also blend. We can create instances with Alt D to duplicate. Now, if I edit this light, affects the instances. Now let's see the glass material. I'm going to open the shader editor. And I'm using a principal shader. With zero roughness, we need a white color. You can experiment with index of refraction, but for the glass we should use around 1.5. In transmission, set it to 1. Now shift A and add the value. Connect into thickness. I'm going to use 0.1. For roughness, I'm going to use an image. This is the image. And connect to roughness. Now we can add a color ramp. And just move the sliders to play with the texture. So we can add imperfections to the glass. Now add a mix shader with a transparent shader. And we need a light pad. And connect each shadow ray to factor. We can add a matte node and just play around with it.
for the signs, these are just text. Uh, shift A and add text. You can type anything you want. Um, it has an emission shader. Just increase the strength and choose the color you want. Now, here in data, in geometry, we can extrude the letters and we can also use bevel. And for this one, this is just a plane with a texture connected from color to emission. Now, for the wet ground, I'm using an asphalt texture, but I use a new roughness texture. This is the texture connected to roughness with a color ramp. Just play with the sliders and we can change the interpolation. In color space, make sure to use non-color. Also use non-color for the glass material. Now to add the fog, I'm using a cube with a volume scatter connected to volume. I changed to Rayleigh and we need a low density like 0.06. Now for the glare effect, we need to add it in the compositor. So open it here and add a glare node. Now go here, enable always. We can change to bloom, just lower mix, maybe there's hold. And we can change the size and the quality. Now I'm gonna unhide the characters, just activate the collection here. All the models in the scene were made by me, so you can use them whatever you like, except the characters, they are from Mixamo. But you can find more assets on my Gumroad store. You can find more props, signs, and buildings there. And that's it. Hope you find something helpful. See you next time.